Kalisha, an experience that's maybe just a little bit more emotional. We're lucky just to have you here because we know what happened in 1993. It's one of the, the great African sporting tragedies. Uh, you lost so many of your teammates and it certainly didn't make up for it. But I think there was a real sense of poetic justice when in 2012, under your watch, the uh, the Zambian team was uh, was able to uh, atone in a way for, for what had happened with that terrible crash. Yeah, um, I think Zambian football will not be uh, complete without uh, measuring, mentioning the Gabonian disaster. Um, we, in, in this time, like I said, in the 80s, we used to, in the 1890s, we used to go, I was in uh, Belgium first in 85 and then afterwards, of course, in PSV. And so the traveling was not like today. So I would, you know, jump on a plane from Amsterdam, you know, go to London and London come to Lusaka um, uh, to play the match if we were playing at home. But if we were playing away, it was easier for me to go uh, direct to the country. And, um, and so when um, the, the, we played a match against Zimbabwe, uh, we drew against Grobel and them. Then, you know, th then afterwards, the one week there was nothing. Then the team went to play in Mauritius. Um, and then f straight from Mauritius, we were starting the World Cup qualifier against, against Senegal. And so I was excused for this match because I went back to Europe and then I was only going to go straight to, to Senegal. And so this is when uh, we had the, the plane crash. I was in um, Amsterdam, uh, got a call. Then afterwards, we had to rebuild the team. Um, it was difficult. But we had the, the then president, then uh, second Republican president, uh, uh, Chiluba said, you know, he called me and he said, no, I think we have to go on because everybody thought I think we should stop, you know, uh, wait for two, three years and everything. And then FIFA gave us a dispensation. They said, no, we'll, we'll give you about uh, six weeks in which to regroup and start with a new team altogether. And um, uh, with credit to that old team, with the new team that started, you know, we, we, you know to start was very, very difficult. But when, once we started, uh, the team went to the final in one year. In the same year, the team went to the final in 1994 in Tunisia. We lost to, to Nigeria. Uh, and then we lost to Morocco. Before, for, for the World Cup, so did a lot. And, and in my opinion, in my, in my mind, I always thought that uh, we had to do something for the fallen heroes, we had to do something. So when the chance did come, you know, to in, in uh, 2012 with Zambia, you know, with Chris Katongo and uh, Rainford and, and the boys, Isaac Chancer and um, uh, uh, Christopher Katongo and everybody, it was, um, it was uh, unreal. Uh, we went, you know, we went to uh, the final in Libreville, the stadium. It is about seven kilometers from where the team uh, uh, died. So the day before we went there, and we just went to pay homage. And um, it's funny because there had been no Zambian team that had visited the place. But um, I think there was a connection uh, after that because I think Zambia was a different team the next day when it played against the, against the Cote d'Ivoire. <laughs> Well, it was a story that started with great tragedy, but a happier ending of sorts in 2012 and a, a lovely story for Zambia.